What's up you guys, it's Lloyd here with The Single Guy and today I'm gonna to be giving you seven tips that I learned from a prostitute. So if you don't know, I'm a pretty big fan of Tim Ferriss and on his podcast he had a, a sex worker named Alice Little. She's one of the top sex workers in the country. She earns a lot of money. She knows what she's talking about. She's a very good understanding of men, a very good understanding of sex, what feels good and what, feel, what doesn't feel good. I was so impressed with her appearance on the podcast that I actually contacted her and I wanted to know what can guys do better in the bedroom to have better sex, to have make sure their partners are having a good time and make sure that they are having a good time too. So here are the tips that she gave. Let's get right into it. Tip number one is timing. Timing is really important when it comes to women. It's one of the most important things. For example, if a woman likes having her nipples pinched, she's probably going to like that when she's plateauing or when you're ramping things up, but she's not going to like it right after she's had an orgasm and it might be so intense that she's just gonna wanna punch you in the face, okay? <laughs> Those types of things are really important. Certain things are gonna feel good at certain times and they're not gonna feel good at other times. One of the ways that you know, one of the ways that you can have better timing um, and to improve your timing is going into tip number two, which is slowly ramp things up, okay? Things should be increasing in general when it comes to sex, and the way you make sure that things are always increasing throughout, um, th throughout the duration is you start slowly. If you start out too quick and you go too hard and then you have to come back down, then you're gonna have to start the whole process over. Um, but if you start out slowly, you can increase things slower uh, and make sure that you're not going too far too quick and then she's gonna be able to come a lot better from that. Now, I know some of you might be thinking that, well, you know, a lot of women can come quickly from like vibrators and stuff. Um, that's true, a woman can usually come from about, in about two minutes from a vibrator or something like that, um, but you're gonna need to take a little bit more time than that. Which brings me to tip number three, allow at least 10 minutes of foreplay um, before you start engaging in any like sex or any do anything with your, your penis or, or her vagina or whatever. The reason why you want to do this um, is because women take a little bit more time than men to get acclimatized, to get turned on. Uh, it takes a little bit more time, but once they start, once you get them there, then it's going to make things a lot easier for you. Everything else that I'm teaching you is going to become a lot easier if you allow at least 10 minutes of foreplay. Okay, 10 minutes is a long time. Most guys are not going to be doing like more than three minutes. So whatever you're thinking, you probably need to do about a third of that time, or sorry, ramp things up at a third of the speed, um, and then you might be around <laughs> uh, the right area there. Now this brings me to tip number four, which is make sure if, you, if she has something that she likes, keep doing it, okay? If, if she's clearly responding well to something, like she likes what you're doing, then keep doing it, don't change it. I know it's tempting to like, oh, she's really liking this, I wanna go harder and more aggressive so she'll feel better. That's not necessarily the case. Um, if she's liking something, keep it that way. It's really frustrating for a woman when she's like, she's really liking the feeling of something and then you change it 10 seconds later. It's gonna be a lot harder for her to come if you're doing that sort of stuff. Tip number, uh, tip number five, which is make sure you are communicating with her. Make sure that you're effectively telling her uh, you know, what you like and allow her to tell you what she likes because all women are different, man. Like One thing that works for one woman is not gonna work for another woman. You have to figure people out and the only way you do that is by communication. She's gonna tell you what she likes. Just let her do it, allow her to be more comfortable and allow her to express herself and you know, she might like something that you haven't done before or that the last girl that you've been with didn't like. So that's why communication is pretty key. And it makes everything a lot easier too if you guys are communicating properly. Okay, tip number six is when you're going down on the girl, try writing the alphabet with your tongue. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna give her a lot of different sensations. You're gonna get a better idea of what she likes, what she doesn't like, um, and that slow kind of uh, variation between that and the methodical way in which it's done, it's gonna give her a lot of different sensations and she's gonna be feeling really good and you're gonna get to know her a lot better from doing that sort of stuff. Okay, tip number seven is lastly, you wanna make sure that you're doing positions that stimulate her, not just like on the inside, but also like on the surface level too, because uh, clitoral stimulation, the clitoris uh, protrudes out on the surface, um, and if you're hitting it as well as you're penetrating her, it's gonna feel a lot better than if you're just penetrating her. One of the things that you can do to help out, to help out with this 
is let's say you're doing missionary or something like that, you can put a pillow underneath her butt. That's gonna hit her clit a, a much better and also hit her G-spot as well, which is gonna feel really good for her. So make sure that you guys are kind of changing and shifting positions a little bit so it's hitting everything. All right, you guys, those are the tips that I have. I'm gonna come out with a lot more tips when it comes to sex. I think there's a lot of bad information out there or no information at all for men when it comes to this sort of stuff. If you made it to the end of this video, consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. Thanks a lot, you guys, and good luck out there.